In this video, let's add some damage when the agent comes close to ourselves. So let's re-enable that because I had removed it a couple of videos ago because it was annoying that the so much movement and so many mes messages were being generated. So let's go back to the scene manager and enable this code, which will add spawn points and have the leader uh, start spawning agents and then moving the agents. So once this reloads, if we go back to the space, should be an agent appearing here. <clears throat> Unless there's an error, let's see. Leader. Oh, there we are. interesting that the nav mesh hole created was the original position for that uh, which is diagonal it didn't actually take the merged version of it at least I think I did it it did it because maybe that's I'm returning the wrong thing let's go back to the um, constructs merge mesh should be returning maybe, oh I think maybe I didn't push the wall no I pushed the wall the wall is in here push the wall push all these points so you create all the walls and then you merge them all together you return the merge mesh and that should be because you'll be creating that as part of the find or create mesh. So look at the uh, what is it called um, parse initial scene. <clears throat> okay, if the class name is mesh, then you'll push this into results, and then you make the nav mesh. Oh, it's possible it's just an old nav mesh. Maybe I just need to move something. Let me try moving something. Because when I... Oops. If I move something, it should clear the nav mesh. And now when I refresh, it should recalculate. Ah, and now it's recalculated. So now this agent can't move through that area. Let me get down closer down here. So it's going to try to come toward me, I believe. It's got to. And if I move, yeah, he can't move. Yeah, I think it's stuck. Oh, it is. Oh, he came around. Cool. Now, when he's here against me, which he is, I think he's right on me. 
he needs to um, dish out some pain. So he's constantly moving toward me. So what we can do is check if he's near the camera within uh, one meter, just emit a pain message. And we can do that in the agent manager area. Actually, this sends positions to the person. We don't really have a callback that happens when we're on the person. Not unless we did something on every frame. These are running quite frequently. Let me just pause this. <clears throat> Send agent movements is running on a constant interval of 1,000. But I think if things are on the way, maybe just allow them to be on their way. Mm. And again, I'm not sure. Maybe if... We can do the evaluation once per second, but we don't need to actually for sure send anything. So this can be the interval. Then we can say prep agent movement. I'd like to be able to use some of this stuff here, which is this crowd on reach target observable agent infos. And you'll be able to get the agent index. <clears throat> So when you get to your target observable, maybe you mark something on the agent. Otherwise, you say that your traveling. So we have agents. Agents have a name. They have an agent index. They have a mesh visibility cone. They're transform, and then maybe a bit for moving which is a boolean and so if you're being transported that moving will be true and if you've gotten there that moving will be false and then let's go to the create agent create oops create agent Add agent has an initial position, <coughs> which we get the position as a parameter. And we want to say that the moving is false. So in the beginning, we're not moving. We just place that agent there. And you have a likelihood of spawning based on the start spawning. So here's an interval that's calculating perhaps this is some random time as well.
by one thing at a time. So we'll put that back. <clears throat> Start spawning, we'll just spawn them, create agent, uh, then it's the calculating the movements. This happens every second. Send agent movements. Okay. So we want to grab all the agents that are not moving. So let's do this first. Agents is an object. So object entries, you get a map of a list of this and this. Let's also reduce to get the agent name and the agent deconstructed such that the agent moving has to be false. not assignable for type string agent index is a number mesh or a moving the boolean hmm? Sorry, not reduce, filter. <clears throat> okay, so we'll only get much fewer agents. And so, yes, as we move them, we're going to get a map. Set this, set this, set this. Then we send the payload. Then we're going to react to this through here on the incoming incoming agents directed here so this will only move those that are not moving we we'll get a much smaller set We'll still have a little bit of delay, I guess. And then as this happens, which an index. destination and we'll say go to and then we'll also say that this agent's agent name moving is true and then we'll add a callback on the crowd That this crowd uh, what we 
is it called? On reach target observable. things happen you'll reach agent index so cost agent index equals agent infos agent index And we'll say that we're getting damaged. But I need to know who I am. Do I have... Okay, I'm going to need to get the member ID so we can know who I am. I also need to know if we're close to the active camera. So when you reach your target observable, you should set your moving to be false again. And you could be told to move again. Mm, but we won't know the agent name here. the agent name this way const agent name is object keys of this agents then filter the agent whose agent dot oh no the name is not in there because yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I don't know, you're going to want the agent index. So you want object entries. Then filter that thing where it has the agent name and the agent. where the agent agent index is equal to this agent index and then that single record um, I guess will be the single result so if <clears throat> this will give you a single array with array of arrays so the first value of that would be the agent name if it was successful uh, this code here is a bit ugly 
gets your agent name. Let's just say const error dot log agent stop agent what's the callback? Reach target. to say that this agents with the agent name moving is false. Start our server. So in this scenario, it won't get a new traveling instruction until the old one is finished. I think it found us. We shouldn't send a payload if there's no agents in it. So if future positions dot length is less than one, then return here. We should also have something where you reach the destination. So over here, agent, yeah, we should have this, right? Saw me. It's gonna reach its destination. Agent reached. I saw it. Agent reached target. Agent reached target. Agent reached target. It's getting a whole bunch of agent reached target. And agent reached. And how about if we go over here? When it stops, yeah, you still get an agent reach target. Okay, so it's able to play things out.
So it gets to go for a, a lot longer. It's not as spazzy as. in there so it's not asked to be interrupted if it's going somewhere but if it does see me within the within that one second I think it will go after me uh, maybe that's not true because uh, if it's traveling it's excluded from this operation here for the plan Yeah, because we're filtering by moving, so anything that's moving, we don't even check to see if the camera's looking at it. Anyway, we can keep making improvements to this, but the slight modification here is that we can dish out some damage. Whoops! Dish out the damage. Where do we do it? We will do it in this callback here. And first we need to, so we can check if it's near this camera. We only need to admit it to ourselves, And we don't need to, no, we need to admit it for the record. Do we? Because this is playing back. That's an interesting thing because if you play this back, uh, things that are producing messages the first time will continue to produce messages the second time you have to ask it to stop. When you play back the crowd, you won't be using <coughs> the crowd agent. I think it should be played back. We should create an event here. All right, go to the nav manager. Nav manager. Do we have the member ID? We do not. The scene manager does. Why? Oh, because I needed to emit the message, right? Okay. If
if it's within half a meter, then send out some damage. coming at me. I don't seem to be getting damaged. So let's check this value. Proximity. Proximity. to remove this filter. Proximity is three. It's quite far. I can't even see it. Where are you? Really? Show me the... Oh, but I might be above the ground or something. And print out the two positions. Console, okay, that's the proximity. What is agent mesh position uh, as an array? And what is this scene active camera position as an array? that far away. Hmm. One position is my mesh. The first one is the agent mesh, not the agent mesh, it should be the agent transform. Agent mesh transform. That should be the proximity. And if the proximity, there we go. see me yet. I think it's seen me. It sees me yet. It's going over to give me some damage. You see my proximity is still quite large. It's 0 0.83. 
these values are pretty spawn. Okay, so maybe it's less than 2 or less than 1.5. Okay, that fulfills the second thing I worked on. 